What is good everybody, today we are reviewing the Target exclusive Legends WWE Ultimate Edition Yokozuna figure. Now there is a chase variant of this figure, this is the regular version with the black waist wrap in comparison to the white version, and these are hitting Target stores right now, I guarantee if you went to your Target, unless yours is just bummerific, this is probably sitting on the shelves or should be put out within the next week. Now luckily I had a kind worker pull this from the back, I didn't get any of the other Legends figures, but today we're diving into the Ultimate Edition Yokozuna, and for some reason I could have swore. I had one of the other elite versions, but I could not. I could not find any of them. I, I guess I just somehow that's a lapse in my in my judgment. I thought I already had a previous version or a elite version of Yokozuna, and I did not. So this is my only version of Yokozuna currently in my collection, which makes me vomit. But at least it's ultimate. At least it is the best version you can buy, quote unquote. But we're gonna take a look, man. Again, this is Target exclusive. If you want to grab it, I don't know if it's online order or I, I would go grab it in person, though, man. Unless you're overseas or something like that, man. But be. Being a Legends and a Target exclusive, it is going to have the red box with the white accents compared to the white box, which is usually a mainline release. We do have the viewing window of Yokozuna here, which looks good. His belly actually pokes out the front up here. Like, if you feel it right here, you can actually feel his belly. But on the side, you get a nice shot of Yokozuna. Legends logo up top. And then on the back, you get a shot of Yokozuna there. And the big man on the back there. Polynesian Islands looking good. Yokozuna on the side. And that is pretty much our packaging for this Legends Ultimate Edition Target exclusive Yokozuna figure, man. But again, man, you can't grab this only at Target. But with that being said, let's crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what Yokozuna is all about, and see how he looks on the rotating base. So here is the big fella out of the packaging. I'm liking this figure a lot, and compared to other Yokozunas that I've had in the collection before, I do believe this could be the best one. I think that this could be that end-all, be-all Yokozuna figure in your collection. You know, depending on attire and different things like this, but I like the red gear. I like this a lot. I think it's a very nice figure so far. But we're going to dive into the, the weeds of it, and we're going to get into the figure's accessories and all those things, man. So with that being said, let's dive into Yokozuna's accessories, and then we'll dive into the Yokozuna figure itself. So for Yokozuna... I think you get a pretty good amount for an Ultimate Edition. I think it's at least on par with regular basic accessories for an Ultimate Edition figure. And the standout has to be this cloth goods robe that we get. And I do believe we've seen cloth good robes with our Yokozuna for before. Maybe it was Elite 15 or something like that. I think we have seen a cloth good robe just like this or at least similar. But it even has the belt in there which I like. But it's very big. It fits the figure well. It's got the checkerboard pattern on there which I like a lot. Very quality. Very good stuff that I'll always uh, appreciate appreciate from Mattel. Good stuff right there. Never gonna discount cloth goods, especially in a nice cloth robe such as this that fits the figure particularly well. And then we do get the WWF Championship, which is probably the version a lot of people do hold in a high regard, especially if you're watching this review. Maybe not though, I don't know. We may have some youngsters or some younger generations. I particularly did not grow up watching Yokozuna, obviously. is a little before my time, but I do enjoy this version of the Championship. I'd love to see a modern version of this. I just don't like how every belt and WWE is a damn carbon copy of another. Just get away from that. I understand having your WWE logo for the clicks and the photos, and the modern championship is nice. Don't get me wrong. I just would like to see a mix of old and new. I think that's the best way to do it. But they don't ever do this title belt right. It's too thick. The plates are too thick, and I think they could do a hell of a lot better. It needs more details, but it's definitely still nice to have with this figure. Then we also get three interchangeable head sculpts with this Yokozuna. You have sort of a resting, pissed off face, just like, oh my god, what the hell? going on kind of face here which I like good sculpts too and the and the hair being up and then you also get kind of a like a number like a stage two of anger so if this was stage one you'd have stage two here which I both like the I like the likeness on both of these but hands down my favorite one is the yelling expression the wide eyes it's like a just a progression right he's like what the hell are you doing okay put that back and then it's just rage mode which I like I like all three of these good sculpts on all of these good paint apps I like all three of these Yokozuna head sculpts you get with the ultimate edition and then we also get our bucket, which is very cool. It would have been cool if they could have sculpted or done something on the inside, but I guess they, they they leave it all purpose. That way you can use it for a slew of different things if you want to. But the sculpt on this is nice, but we have seen this bucket before, and the rope is even nice here on the handle. But again, we have seen this. I'm pretty sure we've seen this exact bucket a couple of times in the Mattel line, but it is nice. It's got a good flexy material to it. Very good, and I think it's historically accurate. 
Outside of that, we do get Mike holding hands, which I believe are too small. I mean, these are the same damn hands that they give Finn Balor or Daniel Bryan or Akira Tozawa. You know what I mean? We need some we need some big giant hands for bigger guys. Brock Lesnar's, Braun Strowman's, Yokozuna's. I know they do it for Andre, which is his own case, but it's still worth mentioning. They actually went back to the old Kawhi Leonard ricochet style hands here. Handshaking style. I mean, so many different things you could do with these hands. Knife edge, chops, all these different things. And last but not least, you get these baby be fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. So getting into the figure itself at the top of the head sculpt, again, I like these head sculpts. I think they look really good for the most part. I don't have any issues with these whatsoever. And then we go down into the chesticles. This is essentially the exact same torso we saw in his Elite, but they do have these added butterfly joints here. And I wish they cut into that a little bit more so you could get the arm across the body a little bit more. But if for the most part, it's, it's you know, it serves its purpose. I think it does get the job done. Now, one thing I will say is these tiny shoulders and these tiny arms don't do it for me, man. Look at that beefy arm back there, Brad. You think this is a beefy arm? Hell no. This is not beefy whatsoever. We need the medium-sized arm, and I can tell that this is supposed to be... This is like a newly sculpted arm. At least it looks like it. It doesn't have that bicep vein in there, which tells me this may be a new sculpted arm, but I don't like it. I don't like it. It needs to be bigger than that, man. We need that fatty arm, man. I think even the, the Otis arms would have worked better on Yokozuna. I just... This is way too small, man. You don't get this damn big and have these bony arms, all right? It just doesn't happen. Ask your mom. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. All right. But he's got a nice belly going on here. He's got a nice belt going on. This is a sculpt we've seen before. Now, one thing I'm noticing is the upper torso does rotate nicely, but you're not really going to be able to rotate the full waist. So it really just has an upper diaphragm rotation instead of this lower part here. And then he does have the red tights going on. Huge badonka donk on this man. I mean, good Lord in heaven. I mean, Jesus. But yeah, he does have a large bottom. Ask your mom. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I mean, yeah, he's got, you know, the red tights going on down of the, the calves here, and then he does have the calf cut, which is nice to see, and then he does have these new added toes here with a good ankle pivot, which I like. But this Yokozuna figure is pretty fun, man. He even has drop-down hips. Now, you're not gonna get him to kick forward much much more than that, which, do you need him to, you know? Do you really need that? I don't think so, but he's got a really good double-jointed knee, upper thigh cut, he has calf rotation, he has ankle pivot, he has toe pivot. I mean, dude, this guy feels really good in hand, but I feel like that's always the case. You'll have you'll have guys like Chad Gable, freaking legs are stiff as hell, can't pose him worth a shish, even though he does all these crazy maneuvers in the ring. And you get Yokozuna, who can do a leg drop or something like that only. And then he can do damn, he can do these aerodynamic poses, which makes no damn sense. Which, I mean, I'm glad for it. It's just, I would like to see that across the entire line. But the butterfly joints are decent. I think they're pretty good. You know, getting a cross arm in there, would have been nice so see i'd like it to get a little bit more than that so you could actually tuck the arms in it's not terrible and when he has the robe on it'll probably look more like he's crossing his arms but it's just something to note there but i'm having a lot of fun po posing this guy around he's actually quite fun to shoot in the ring it's pretty good stuff man so i don't know figure photography you'll have fun uh posing this guy around i think but let's get into some yokozuna figure comparison and uh break it all down for you so our first comparison is going to be the yokozuna ultimate edition up next to the fan takeover hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition, which I think looks pretty good up next to each other. I like these. I really like the colors on these, man. Colors really pop off nicely between these two, but definitely wanted to get a shot of these two up beside each other. And then another comparison is Rikishi, the Greatest Hits Rikishi, up next to Yokozuna with Umaga. So I did want to see these up next to each other as well. Pretty cool, man. I think, you know, God, I wish Umaga, man, I wish he could have had a longer run. I really miss Umaga in the ring. Used to just be a force to reckon with. And then for some other Yokozuna figure comparisons, here we do have Umaga, we have the Elite 106 Usos, we have the Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition, we have our final boss fix up, and we have Solo Sokoa from Elite 107. And again, just a really fun look to see, you know, all these up next to each other. And then we can do another shot too once we get the Jamal and Rosie Legends figures from Series 23. And the Elite Legends Series 22 is actually hitting retail right now with this Yokozuna. It's part of a reset with, uh, you know, everything going on at Target. And then at Walmart, you have your reset with all your Monday Night War stuff. So a lot of new WWE action figures hitting right now at the start of the summer. But it is fun to see Yokozuna in his ultimate form amongst the rest 
of our Samoan dynasty, if you will. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Yokozuna Ultimate Edition WWE Legends Target Exclusive Figure Review. I really like this figure. I like it a lot more than I was expecting to because I have owned a couple of his at least before and I swear to God I thought I had one. And maybe I do and it's just lost somewhere in the entire collection. You know, when you have this many figures around, sometimes you forget what you have, man. It's a real thing. I mean, it's it's ridiculous to be honest with you, but maybe I do have one of those elites, but this is, I, you know, if you're on the fence about an, a, a Yokozuna figure, this is the one to get. This is definitely the one to get. You get the championship, you get the robe, you get the interchangeable heads. It's everything you want out of a Yokozuna wrapped into one figure specifically, and I think that's what you want out of that, man. You know, I said this when we talked about some new figures coming out. Some of these characters that maybe you're not latched onto all the way, but you still want them in the collection, go after the Ultimate Edition versions, right? Like, you know, you don't need, to, if you don't want 20 different of this, say you have one guy you want to collect 20 of, or you want the most of, and the most looks of, because that's your guy, or what have you. You know, the Dusty Rhodes, or maybe some other characters, you just get the Ultimate Edition version, and you can write off the rest. You don't need every Elite that comes out of Dusty. You don't need every Elite Yokozuna that comes out. You buy the, the Ultimate Edition, and you cut it off. Same things with, a, you know, a Seth Rollins, or a Cody Rhodes, man. You buy the one that you really like, that big, good version, unless that's your boy, or your favorite of all time, or one of your favorites, or, oh man, I have to have this look, because my dad took me to that show, or etc, etc, man. So, that's kind of the rules of the collection, but I like this figure a lot. It poses around pretty nicely considering the size. It does have the drop down hips and things, which isn't as loose as other figures. I like the toe articulation there. Fun figure to pose around, man. Fun figure to pose around. Now, would he be one of those guys you just put on a five-star classic with? No, but who's out there with Yokozuna and they're fed? I, I mean, maybe five? I, maybe. Maybe five, and they're probably not even posted to the World Wide Web. So there's those things, man, but he's a fun figure. He's a fun figure, and I think that it's really cool because he's in these bloodline colors, and you can you can stick him up there on all kinds of different displays. So that's pretty cool, man, but that's going to wrap up the review of this Yokozuna figure. I had a lot of fun with it. I had a lot of fun shooting it as well. And yeah, just a different character all around, man. Not one of my goats or anything like that, but I can respect Yokozuna to the fullest extent, and I always like seeing big men get in there and beat the, beat the hell out of people. But that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this figure down in the comment section below, and check out your Target stores as this is hitting right this instant. But a huge shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for all you do for me. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.